Hello guys and welcome to my channel again. It is time to take a look today at the famous $5 component tester. It is basically advertised as being an LCR component tester or um, ESR component tester. You can actually buy it online with variable prices between um, four dollars and seven dollars in some cases it seems like lately the price is dropping down and what is interesting about this tester is that you can go online and download cases for it and you can uh, 3d print the case for it or um, in many of the cases you can actually buy them lately the latest edition with their own cases so it's actually the um, full meter having um, a plastic case and you don't buy only the um, electronic module you buy it with the plastic case so the question is how good is it shall I buy it is it useful for my work i'm gonna test it and i'm gonna show you how it works so basically what you do is take the three pin component or the two pin component connect it here in this socket and press the button it will first run a very short self test and then it will display the symbol of the component and the um, hv uh, e factor and it will also display the forward voltage for this component for resistors of course it will display the resistance for the capacitors for capacitors of course it will display um, the capacitance it will um, also display the um, ESR so the equivalent series resistor and for capacitors it will also display the um, tangent angle so the um, V loss percentage so in my opinion I think um, I find it most useful when I want to measure capacitors because um, you know I have other multimeters and I can always measure the capacitance using my um, fluke multimeter but uh, the fluke multimeter will only display the capacitance and it will not display the equivalent series resistance and the trouble is when I want to um, for instance um, see whether or not um, some capacitors inside of a monitor or of an electronic device um, they have decreased uh, capacitance or increased ESR you know they, they are getting old they start to age and um, they uh, start losing their properties um, if I measure it with a, a classical multimeter this will never tell me whether or not uh, the respective component it is depreciating or it is aging but when I'm connecting it to this module not only that it tells me the capacitance but it tells me um, the ESR so this is this is very very important from my point of view now I also have with me some old capacitors here that I removed from some uh, old electronic devices so these are more than 10 years old usually after 10 years they get uh, pretty aged so for instance um, this is supposed to be a 47 microfarad capacitor this is what is written on it and um, if I'm connecting it here between the pins 1 and 2 by the way, I used the CD permanent marker and I added this notation here 
uh, there are also some cases on the internet that um, have this notation there are also some cases that you can 3d print and they have uh, these numbers here it makes it much easier for me to um, when when I grab a resistor uh, to tell me exactly um, what is the um, the pin number you, you also have it here written on the PCB but when you put it inside the uh, the plastic case then you don't see these uh, labels here so I added it now my component tester says that well it's about 50 um, microfarad it says that this it's having a 2.1 ohm equivalent series resistor now if I'm putting this capacitor back into a circuit um, it will um, have a ripple voltage on it and unfortunately it won't filter the um, voltage enough if I have for instance a very um, a very picky microcontroller that won't allow uh, voltage variations um, above or below 0.3 volts um, you know exceeding uh, the nominal voltage of the component so um, with this component tester the advantage is that I can tell whether or not this component um, is aged or not um, this advantage is that sometimes when you have SMD components you cannot measure them the manufacturer actually placed um, an SMD component area right here so technically you can take the soldering iron and you can uh, solder your SMD component there but with this type of case and um, whenever I feel the need of measuring something very fast I don't feel like um, soldering uh, it very fast I, I'm taking the, the soldering iron and um, I'm actually soldering some of the um, uh, soldering wire on the terminals and then I use this flexible um, solder as some terminals to be able to connect the SMD component here and this would be an inductor what I don't like about measuring um, inductors is that it says here uh, 0, 0.0 something and then micro Henry the marking on my inductor here is 150 I don't know if you are able to see it um, and that means that it's actually 15 micro Henry's and my multi tester should show here 15 point something micro Henry or at least leave it like this and say 0 0.015 Henry's you know it doesn't make sense from this point of view so you whenever you you are measuring inductors you'll have to keep this in mind that um, it's not um, it's not displaying micro Henry's there the scale is for Henry's for instance this inductor is um, six, 660 micro Henry and it doesn't really justify that it displays it like this zero point something micro Henry for inductors um, if you noticed it also displays the internal resistance and that can be also very useful in so many cases if you are measuring um, resistors for instance it will display the resistor value between the certain terminals if you are measuring diodes yes it will also display the um, anode the cathode of the diode and it also displays the 
internal capacitance in some cases and the forward voltage. Like I said, this is this is more like a component tester. Nobody wanted so much precision uh, from it. It will just display uh, whether or not the component is good and it does that very fast. What happens if you connect a MOSFET, for instance? It will display the type of MOSFET, the symbol, that's very useful. In some of the cases, in many cases, it measures the diode here to see whether or not it's good. And it will display the uh, forward voltage and the capacitance, the gate capacitance. Now, um, of course, it will measure all types of transistors like NPN, PNP, it will display the um, amplifying factor and the forward voltage in millivolts. That's very correct. I actually like it. Um, what happens when you connect LEDs? You see that the component tester is actually testing the component multiple times. Uh, probably it makes several um, samples and then it will display the forward voltage and the capacitance of the junction. I really like it from this point of view. It's very fast and like I said, I find it very, very useful when measuring capacitors. What's happening when you are connecting some other fancy integrated circuit that has three terminals or two terminals? What does it display? What will it display in this case when I have a uh, 7812 um, linear um, regulator? Let's see if it displays something. It will say no unknown or damaged part. This is basically the message you get for um, every uh, component that is damaged or it's not recognized by this um, multi tester. Now, how do we reset the um, tester and What's happening if I connect a short-circuited component there? Um, I'm just making this uh, short-circuit three-terminal wire here and I'm gonna connect it between the three terminals of the socket here. If I'm having a short-circuited component, it will start a self-test and it, it tells me to prepare a capacitor that is of a certain value. Um, I think with a capacitance that is greater than a certain value. And um, it will run the self-test up to a certain point. And then it says to isolate probes, so basically to remove the short circuit or any other components you may have there or any short circuited component you may have there. Well, there you go. It says to insert a capacitor that is greater or value greater than 100 nanofarads. This is a 47 microfarad capacitor between one and three. Yes, and it will say the test end message and the software version here. So like I said, besides the fact it has this um, error in my opinion with displaying the correct value of the inductor and the correct scale there, it's a very very good device to have around. It's a very fast tester. I personally like it and um, I find it very, very useful for my work. Another very, very big like from my side is that it's very, very cheap and you can buy it um, for a very low price. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to leave your comments below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.